Yeah, it was amazing just to get out there. I think um, when you see this car being designed and developed, you know, I go around the factory and you see car parts on computer screens, you drive it in the simulator, obviously you can't actually physically see the car. You go to the wind tunnel and you see the 60% model and then just sort of seeing it come to life and the pride that was on everybody's faces when they were going around the race bays for the last couple of days and seeing what they have put into this car is kind of like a special feeling and it fills me with pride um, knowing that I got the, the privilege of, of driving out there today. Uh, it's, I mean, it's too early to say at the moment. It's um, when you're on a cold, crisp day like this at Silverstone, everything generally feels pretty good. Um, so we just need to wait and see. But no, no major scares, and um, yeah, all set for Bahrain next week. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I think it looks more aggressive. I think it shows a bit of intent, and especially that we're, we're going quite aggressive with the amount of carbon we've still left on, on show. Um, you know, we mean business and we're, we're going for it. No, I think if we were to sit here saying we're going to win this, win that, that's foolish. I think we can have expectations and hopes of how the car will feel and how the car will perform. But if you know Red Bull and Ferrari have found the same amount of lap time we have, we're in the same position as we were last year. Um, so you've got to be, you can't be naive in thinking we're going to be right back there because we just don't know.